So, working on a plan. <laughs> Whenever I first got this thing, I pretty much had to take all the woodwork out of it because it wasn't glued down very well and re-adhere it to the inside of the fuselage, which I did. Not a big deal. It was just like, okay, yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> I was down here and taking out some of the woodwork that was down in there. And you can kind of see bits and pieces of it way down in there. Eh, maybe not. Anyway, so, <laughs> the saga continues as to how well this thing was put together before. This was actually, like, right there. And it was what was supposed to hold in the woodwork for... Uh, the IGB. And as you can see, I, I, they didn't get, I mean, that's still clean fiberglass. It's, it's not even saturated with anything. So, surprising, but yet not. It was like, okay, well, so there we go. We're still looking for gears. Uh, if I can use this again, I'll use it again. Um, if I have to do another box, I'm going to have to create a hole in here in order to, to do it. Just looking at options, doing a flex cable, doing the wire, you know, somebody suggested a really cool, um, adjustable gearbox, or you can adjust it from 40 to 50 degrees. And then do torque tubes all the way up. Because I have claw couplings on all of the ends so far. So I could scratch build doing a carbon torque tube drive system something or another in there. I'd kind of like to keep it as original as I could. Because it is... A Grappner fuse, and you know, I kind of like to keep it. It it's got some character to it. So we're gonna try to do the try to find the gears. Try to find some. I found some that were, you know, the the Vario gears are they have a five millimeter hole, and this is a four millimeter hole. So I'd have to come up with something to take up that space to get it on there because it's gonna go on that shaft. So. Anyway, uh, just just a slight update. Not a whole lot going on. You know, I've got the mechanics out, and I got it over here. And while I've got it out, you know, I've got Chris's beautiful piece of machined aluminum with fins. And he, whenever he did it, you can see all of the nice, shiny... Uh, machining work that is on there and most of it is underneath the motor i thought well we should probably spin that around but no we made such nice uh he, he made such nice things on here and it's that's actually got the cooling side to it so we're gonna leave it on here um a solid chunk of aluminum he did when we redid this when the turbine ate its belts but anyhow uh looking at the rotor head um, there was one where the bolts got stripped out on here, on this little piece right there. The screw heads popped off. One popped completely out, so I'm sure I'm going to have to re-thread that. Um, but for the most part, it looks straight. I don't think it had power on it when it hit. I think I got it off before it actually hit. But you can see the forces that it did on this little piece of plastic there. But for the most part, everything's running smooth and clean. So I think we're good on that front. But it's it was things nice is, you know, four bolts and this thing, well, five. I got one screw down here on the bottom that's actually attached to the bottom of the fuselage. But it's four bolts and that thing comes out of the fuselage. So that made it nice. So anyway, just an update. Just let you guys know what scale's going on. Uh, I'm not totally slacking. I am slacking on that. Anyway, get out and fix something. Oh, God.
this sucks. So, can't find any of the gears. Not finding anything in the 40 degree size. Uh, so, these little stupid things are done. That's killing it. The other thing is, is if you look, you can see there's a forward tilt on the uh, mechanics. So when they made the tail with the two millimeter drive wire, they had you put like a 10 millimeter drop bend across the whole thing. And going from the IGB, which blew up, uh, and it kind of gave it that arc, which made it line up with the forward tilt on this. And I mean, it's got a good three degrees of tilt on this thing. So without the gearbox and with this extra angle into it, I was going to have to put another flex box in here, kind of like the 500 E's from Vario. They have another gearbox right here to kind of articulate it one more failure thing to do and i didn't want to put in more woodwork because i want to make the doors work back here you know underneath this thing so this has got a door in the front it pops up and comes up right there so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with a flex drive and build the flex drive into it and vario's got a five millimeter flex drive which i'm going to show you so here is their um, this is the five millimeter and that goes up to a maximum of a 1.9 meter thing, which this is right at that. So, and the price difference is ridiculous. This is, you know, right at 200 bucks and the, <laughs> the six millimeter, literally one millimeter more is $537 which is absolutely an asinine jump between that and that. I mean, it's, you know, $300 difference. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go with a five millimeter drive system for it. Most of the parts I already have the, that are installed, like this box here and all this good stuff. So I shouldn't need all this. If I need to, I can shorten this up a little bit so I can start the angle coming down because what i plan to do is is have it come down way down you know have it start to flex come up tight here and then all the way down but then as it comes back up it's got to actually kind of come down to meet the the spline that's in here you know so Anyway, that's kind of the direction where I'm going with this. Done some research over the last week or so to kind of see how I wanted to fix this and redo it. Uh, doing multiple uh, gearboxes. So, you know, literally, I'd have a gearbox here and then another uh, box up here, which slightly changes the angle to get it to line up to where it needs to be and it's about right there and going at this angle yeah so it comes up and then it'd have to go straight so there'd have to be an articulating box in this area inside which with the door you know the door could come up yeah okay but i don't know i'm just my gut tells me I should just go with a flex drive. Less articulating joints, less failure points. I don't know, shit. I've got some, you know, good stuff up there. The problem is, this damn thing is long. I measured it out. It's over just about 40 inches from the uh, clock coupler here all the way up to the clock coupler up there. So, it's a long little bitch. And, yeah, so, I think that's what we're going to go with for now. And, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So, all right, get out and fix something.